Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've come in, I'm coming to you this morning with some prayer requests. I got four of them now. See, uh, they're delayed because I have to ask people if the person I'm praying for has had uh, taken the Gosh, this is going up on YouTube. Okay, they ate the cookies, all right? And so, if they didn't eat the cookies, we can pray for them. And, and if you don't understand that, then you can email me at genieartisty at gmail.com. All right. First of all, we've got Tessa has a brother in the hospital who needs a scan, in their opinion. They're, they're delaying it. Uh, they, they, they need to find out what's wrong with him. He is a brother in the Lord. He is refusing it. He will not eat the cookies, no, nor does he want the tests. So anyway, he's, uh, that's not what's wrong with him, okay? So please pray for him. I did not get his name. The next person is one of my other subscribers. Her name is Jean. Although she goes by something else in the comments. Her brother is also in the hospital with emphysema. So severe was it he was put in ICU. And uh, by now he might be out, I hope, and pray. Okay? Because I went ahead and started praying for him. Uh, even though, you know, Lord, if he hasn't been, you know, then please let your doctors, let her, his doctors find him. The best treatment for him at this time and get him uh, healed where he can do whatever it is you would have him to do in these last few days before things start happening you know we have to all right let me, let me back up there a little bit there are many many people who haven't eaten the cookies but they are not ready die. They are not ready. Something just happened to my computer. I don't know if you're still hearing me or not. That was weird. It blacked out. It had the word listen and a purple circle in the middle. What in the world? Anyway, um, the brother with emphysema. Okay, just pray for him. That Lord's will be done. I started to tell you something. Oh, they're not ready to die. There are people who are not ready to die, but they haven't taken, they haven't eaten the cookies. Okay, so we need to pray for them that they will be healed so that they can do their repenting and get right with the Lord so they can go to heaven. Just because you haven't eaten the cookies doesn't automatically get you into heaven. Do you understand? Moving on. I got a dear friend on Team Jesus that I'm on at night. His name is Marty. He's been in the hospital and they're oh, hugely spiritual. He's under huge attack. And we found out why. Uh, it's a very long story. I just want you to say this Lord, let your will be done in Marty's life. In Jesus' name, amen. That's all I want you to pray for him. Okay? Because some people pray witchcraft prayers. And that's another thing. We can't pray our will be done. Lord, heal him. you got to heal him. I need him. I need him here on earth with me. When maybe it's the Lord's will to save him from all. Maybe he's, he might be laying in that bed repenting and praying. Oh, Lord, forgive me for not uh, serving you better or this and that and the other. And that man or woman might be ready to die and go to heaven and won't go in the first fruits. Rapture. They won't go outside of time to help come back and be a warrior for the Lord to get all the rest, those who haven't eaten the cookies, ready for the multitude too large to number to go to heaven. Do you understand? Leave a comment. If you don't, I'll explain better. So, certain prayers cannot be prayed you cannot pray your will be done you pray father's will be done i used to think it was a cop out oh they just know a miracle won't happen so they tack on oh if it's your real father really i thought that 
but we always should want Father's will to be done. I pray the Lord's Prayer every night and sometimes in the mornings. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Let thy kingdom come and your will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. And you know the rest. I should hope you would. Anyway, let me move on to the last one is a lady named Wendy. Again, we want Father's will to be done, but she needs some serious heart healing and deliverance because there's some evil entities causing her symptoms that go away when her husband gets home because he's a holy man of God. Or when he's not there, excuse me. When he comes home, the symptoms start. He leaves again, they stop. So that's how we know it's not medical. It's a spiritual attack. So all you can do is pray for Wendy, that fathers will be done, help her want to get the heart healing and deliverance she needs. And that's all you need to say. Okay, I will appreciate it. Thank you so very much for praying for these people, y'all. Let us keep each other in our prayers also. But like I said, we pray fathers will be done always not our will if our spouse our baby whatever that we love so dearly is on death's door father might be sparing them from something let his will be done all right in jesus name i pray for all these people and that father your will will be done in their lives because we know that it is your will that none should perish all right, with that, I will say God bless each and every one of you. I plead the blood of Jesus over all of you because I haven't done that in a while, I don't think. I plead the blood of Jesus over our computers, our devices, whatever you have, and our internet connections, and over each and every person watching and myself that we will be protected from Satan and his minions in these evil days. But keep looking up. Because every day our redemption draws nigher and nigher. That's closer and closer. All right. Bye for now. I will talk to you later.